Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. We are finally back in Germany after 15 days of Namibian trip. We are fully charged and uh, we are back to our normal life. So today we are here to discuss one of the questions that you have left us in the comment and uh, that is why did we get married in Copenhagen or why did we, did we elope? Why did we secretly get married in Copenhagen? Or why did we elope in Copenhagen? Basically. Yes. And well, what is eloping? Because we didn't know actually. What do you mean we didn't know? I didn't know this <laughs> word until we researched it. I knew. Well, I was always talking to you about it. Eloping. Like, Hello. Eloping, but you're not sure what it is. Okay. Eloping. Okay, so what we It's did... like pre-pooing, you know, it's this mysterious <laughs> word that... I don't know. Please. Lampy once in a while use. It's not a mysterious... A girl should know. Before we get to that, we just like to thank you all for watching Lempies. I hope you guys enjoy our village series videos. I do enjoy those as well. When I watch them, they bring back so yes. many memories and feelings. And most importantly, we are going to have a second major trip in Namibia and we are going to have a safari tour. So we would like to know from you in the comment, what would you like to see about Namibia? Because this is going to be more like uh, from a touristic point of view, we showed you already like the village life, but that is going to be uh, like a different things. And in this, in this, during this trip, we are going to film mostly from the touristic point of view. So please let us know in the comment, what would you like to know? You are interested in visiting Namibia, you want to go for vacation, a safari trip in Namibia. Let us know what you like to know in terms of organization, the cost or anything, so we can really organize those videos in the way that this content can help you plan your future Namibian trip and I'll be excited and probably come with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyways, mm -hmm. so getting married in Copenhagen, how long was that? Let me check. Uh, Did I have my ring on? 2000 and... It was a secret but not really a secret. 17. So 2017 in September. 6 September 2017. Yes. So That's our know, family so. knew about it, mm -hmm. but we didn't obviously inform everybody who came to the wedding that we're getting married. And yeah, why did we do it? The first reason, the first reason was... Bureaucracy. Yeah. Bureaucracy. We wanted to get married or lady, uh, we engaged, I guess, in May 2017. And we started to look up on the internet, how can we possibly get married? I remember very well that we wanted to get married in Germany at the right house that was just opposite to our apartment. Yeah. That is what we wanted. Like something very simple, maybe also celebrate with most of our German friends. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But the paperwork, the amount of document they My needed, goodness. especially from the I just remember the first time we went for that consultation, the lady took a book this thick and was like, Let me check for you. Namibia, Italy, <laughs> what what do you uh, need? First of all it was the waiting time. <laughs> We need to wait at, le at least like six months. No, we don't have space for you. I'm sorry. Six months waiting just for like uh, hoping to have uh, the, our wedding date. And then it was like the, the paperwork needed was really a lot. We needed to gain like original birth certificate from both of our country. Not only that. Not, not the birth certificate, the full birth certificate, which I do not have. Yes, like because when during my time we didn't have full birth certificate, we were only given birth certificate. But this full one include your mother, your parents, whole lot of history. And when you don't have that, you have to ask for it in Namibia. It will be written in English. It comes to Germany, and it has to be translated to Dutch, and then it has to be taken to a lawyer to sign it. But even before asking that, I needed to go to the lawyer in Germany to ask for a letter that would kind of um, help me get the documents from Namibia and yes. a lot of translation back and forth from English to Dutch back to Dutch or Dutch same, to English. Exactly the same thing in Italy. I went to the Italian embassy here in Berlin and they told me almost this, the same identical procedure. We had to get this birth certificate or a certificate that we are not married from our country. So 
uh, yes. something that has to be translated from an official lawyer that is specialized that would have cost a lot around seven to eight hundred euros per certificate and you have to translate like three or four of that uh, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not that expensive 800 euros but it's, no babe i don't believe that what you think a certificate costs 800 euro for what you said it costs 800 euros per certificate no, 800 euro, 3 to 4 certificate. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just say it uh, more understandable. Okay. So you have to spend about like 800 to 1000 euro for this translation, for all this certificate, and then the waiting time for that is really long because you need six uh, six months to fix the date but before that you need to get all these original documents from your country and they need to be translated from an official lawyer after that you have to submit this document uh, to the to the german authorities or to the italian authorities and after like a month or two months or i don't even know how long time they give you a response yes the documents are all right you can now book the date for getting married it would have taken like probably most more than a year or one year and a half and we didn't want to wait that long simply that so you know what we did basically for me it was like first i checked how much the docu it cost to get the documents and when I saw the price, I was like, alternatives, <laughs> possibly <Excellent. laughs> alternatives. And I saw Copenhagen, and that, with this 800, you can go for a nice vacation. It's suddenly like... So, basically what we did was to look at the cost of everything. And when I saw how much with the documents were going to cost, plus the translation, and then the marriage fees that you pay at the right house was like, let me look Why for alternative and the first thing I found and loping close to us was Copenhagen yes. and then I was like you know we've never been there before we need to have a romantic escape process is very simple they don't require all they don't require so many it's, documents they require. it's amazing actually in the past I think five to ten years uh, Copenhagen has become like the Las Vegas of uh, of Europe all gay couples so all interracial capital for multicultural culture they all go there to get married because bureaucracy is so simple all you need is your passport the other person's passport valid documents and uh, the, to fix a date uh, to with the local authorities very simple but you are even talking about complicated things like if you are intercultural from two different countries just you know the number of Ger native Germans or native go, Europeans mm -hmm. that are not even marrying people from outside Europe that go to Copenhagen just because it is very simple so even simple. if you're born in Germany you are getting married to a German when you don't have time to deal with all the paperwork and I'm trust me when you live in Germany here paperwork is at another level mm -hmm. they ask a whole lot of it's no sense, sense. Yeah. let's be honest yeah. no sense yes so sometimes you just like uh, i'm over this and most german people also do amongst other europeans they do get married in copenhagen just mm -hmm. for the simplicity of the whole process and to be honest the whole thing was like five minutes to 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 go mm -hmm. point number two is the cost was a huge deciding factor for us when it comes to having a secret let me say eloping it was just the two of us nobody yes, came nobody, nobody we came were just the, the two, two of us. us just the two of us <laughs> <laughs> that's why we choose that song <laughs> no the three but it was very nice i did like that actually in comparison to the wedding where we had so many people no you know i appreciate that everybody came but for the process of getting married in Copenhagen I feel like it was so intimate it was very beautiful and the cost was very minimal I mean I think for the fees like bureaucracy fees we paid less than 100 euros no, less than 100 maybe. euro bureaucracy fees about 110 110 about 100 euro yes about 100 euros the whole trip of us going to Copenhagen getting married there going to a very nice restaurant everything including our apartment where we stayed was already within the cost of this so many papers we needed to contribute to yes. the rat house here if you want if you would have 
really persisted and you know yes and do you want to even you? compare <laughs> like come on it was a romantic escape it was so nice like my parents were my parents are actually my father said ah you are crazy why are you getting married that way what is that why are it's not your even, parents are not there your family are not there you don't not even there. there you don't even have friends you know <laughs> we're like okay but mm. You know, I just come and now don't you worry, you're going to have an Italian wedding later. So they were like, okay, okay, go. Another point was just after we have already realized that, okay, getting married in Germany is very complicated. It's going to cost way cheaper to mm -hmm. go and get married in Copenhagen. You know, we are very adventurous and we thought, that is nice, a short vacation. We just really felt like how how crazy does it sound to get married on a vacation, which was like a weekend vacation. Yes. We went on a we went on a Wednesday, we got married on Thursday. It was very romantic. Just the romantic yes. part of it, the idea of getting married. To be like what you have mentioned, I also felt like this is an essential moment for us. And I think you just want to be the two of you there to really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that we did it that that way because at the actual wedding, maybe there are so many people in there. It's not really a moment for just the two of you. Yes, we realized later after our Italian wedding, and that was the best solution actually because we enjoyed ourselves. We were stress free because we need we didn't have other people to take care of and we are just the two of us so everything was fine was really comfortable and so relaxed it was in it was very i felt it was very very romantic mm -hmm. and the dinner that we had or a lunch that we had but it everything, was the two of us everything we organized photo shoot was also very nice <laughs> it was so linear because it was so simple it was like a escape weekend uh, and you get married something like that so we went online we booked the flight really cheap, of course, because we have low cost company like Ryanair or EasyJet, so the flight was even like 100 less than 100 euro for both of us to go and come back. Then we book uh, a nice apartment nearby the Rat House uh, with Airbnb. And uh, after that, we even found a really nice photographer that for really little money is really made a really good picture uh, I mean the most romantic part probably was uh, e everything like uh, ev ev even things that Getting are so simple Getting on the train simple. to go to the right house and get married <laughs> Yeah, no, even like when <laughs> but even the day before when we arrived no, we went to to the supermarket, uh, do you remember? And we bought this amazing Danish food if you haven't tried Danish, f uh, da Danish meat it's I mean Danish. Uh, Danish If you haven't tried Danish uh, meat please do that because they have really amazing beef so i enjoyed also you know we were very relaxed we we didn't have the traditional wedding dresses and stuff so there was no stress and i just felt oh beautiful that was very yes. very nice i would recommend I mean, and if you look at the picture with this dress that we got from i mean 50 euros i had everything what did i bought that in zalando mm. i think i spent for all the the, the uh, yes 100 or 150 <laughs> for the whole outfit and you look at the picture and you said oh this this couple has uh, spent a lot for these dresses and, you said and our was photographer so was a student simple. yes and our photographer <laughs> was a student but she was actually way, way better than the photographer that we paid, the professional photographer that we paid for the Italian wedding, to be honest. So guys, what do you think about this? Would you secretly run off with your partner and just get married? Yes. Or would you not? Or would you just wait for the actual wedding and do it together with everybody? I mean, either or way. Or would you escape personal... with your secret partner to get married? <laughs> you're, no, no, you're a secret. Yeah, I, I know that's not a good. No, I wouldn't do that. Right. You can do that in if you in have Copenhagen. a second. In Copenhagen, <laughs> if you have a second partner, you can do that in Copenhagen. They don't ask you. <laughs> Please. Okay, maybe that is funny. Yes, but Come be nice. On. Don't give people wrong ideas. Okay. Nobody wants that. Nobody's have to marry a secret partner in Copenhagen it's that's not even the intention why they are doing this business business is really like you are in love with somebody and you go and you get married there if you have problems or if you just you know want to get married somewhere else yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please give us a like subscribe to our channel and most important guys 
Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye. See you in our next video.